This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 2nd May 2024. I am Adetola Kayode. President Bola Tinubu has reiterated his administration's commitment to improving the welfare and working conditions of Nigerian workers as the nation celebrates Workers' Day. The president assured the organized labor that their understanding, passions, commitment and support in the course of implementing his administration's policies and programs are not taken for granted. Vice President Kashim Shatima represented the president at the May Day celebrations at the Eagle Square, Abuja, where he appreciated the hard work, sacrifices and contributions of workers to the nation's stability and prosperity. The Nigerian Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress labor leaders say prioritizing the welfare Fair of workers alongside implementing policies that will improve productivity are critical for national development. Meanwhile, the federal government has assured that the new minimum wage will take off May 1, 2024, despite the ongoing negotiation talks. In Lagos, different member unions belonging to the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress thronged the Mobolaji Johnson Arena on Econ to commemorate the 2024 May Day celebration with the theme People First. Labor leaders of the NLC and TUC in Lagos, Fumi Sesi and Bengai Kundayo, took turns to thank the governor and government of Lagos State for some of its intervention in cushioning the effects of the economic crunch on Lagos residents. They, however, highlighted some of their concerns and prayers, including the implementation of a living wage providing dedicated electricity for Lagos residents to enhance uninterrupted power supply, intensify efforts in attracting more multinational companies to the state, and the unification of the public service system where staff of Lagos Television, Radio Lagos, Eco FM, and Traffic Radio would be incorporated into the Oracle system, amongst others. Governor Sonwulu promised to look into all of the demands as is administration will continue to prioritize good welfare packages for all workers in the state. The governor says this year's theme, People First, resonates deeply with his administration's philosophy, giving kudos to the dedication, resilience, and passion of workers in Lagos State. These are said as contributed to the building and shaping of the state to the pride and envy of all. Hundreds of demonstrators have been arrested at university campuses across the U.S. over the past 24 hours. About 300 protesters were arrested overnight at Columbia University and City College of New York, while at least a dozen were arrested at the University of Wisconsin-Madison as law enforcement moved in to disassemble an encampment. The University of California System's president in Los Angeles says 15 people were injured and one hospitalized at UCLA after a night marred by violence between pro-Palestinian protesters and Israel supporters. UCLA cancelled classes Wednesday and the school said police are stationed on campus to help promote safety. While the demands among protesters vary at each university, the majority of demonstrations have called for the divestment of companies that support Israel and the war in Gaza. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Trail. And always remember, karma is extremely efficient. If one is extremely patient, it will be served a la carte. Have a fantastic one.